Hey guys, Carl Brown here. Uh, we're going to do another student spotlight today. I'm going to help Giuseppe learn how to clean up his tremolo picking a little bit. Before I do that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please ring that little notification bell as you're doing it. Uh, therefore, you'll know whenever I release a new video. And please, lots of pleases here, submit your own student spotlight question. You can do it at the website, guitarlessense365.com. Um, there's a little uploader for you. and. Uh, and you can ask me your own questions that I hopefully will get around to answering here. All right, so let's uh, take a look at Giuseppe's question. Hello, Carl. My name is Joseph. Yeah, you know that. So my problem is with tremolo picking. When I go to tremolo pick something, I can do the tremolo pick, but sometimes what happens is my right hand moving this way makes this noise when I'm trying to low picking so it, it goes like this oops there's this noise on the background how do I get rid of that love your lessons love when you do s car because we get to know you better thanks for the channel and the help on the guitar okay so I think it's it's pretty easy I think what to see what's going on here which is causing that now you said that when you were doing your tremolo picking you have a lot of noise like uh, coming from the other strings instead of just having so the reason why you have that is because you're picking from the elbow and not the wrist or the, or the forearm kind of a rotation type of thing so when you pick from a smaller muscle group like here um, so your wrist when I'm picking when I'm doing my tremolo picking kind of feels like my hand is just doing little slight little uh, rotations at the wrist like the front of the forearm it's kind of rotating a little bit um, and it's and if there is any movement it's coming from the wrist if there's any kind of movement like this but it's kind of a combination of just coming from the wrist and slight little forearm rotation but you can see how stable everything else is while I'm playing up here. Now, what happens is when you use your elbow to pick, it means you lock everything here, so nothing works here, and you have this static thing, and then you use a bigger muscle group. Now, when you do that, it's going to make the hand move a lot more. So, it's going to create that kind of, that kind of stuff. So, the problem is not really the muting aspect of it the problem is the picking technique itself so what I want you to do is um, I have some videos on this picking technique anyway but um, I want you to bring your hand down to the guitar and let like this part of the, the hand kind of kind of rest on the the bridge now that'll kind of give you kind of like a nice balanced hand you don't want your hand weighted this way or this way just nice and easy over the string and then I want you to use just your wrist, just the very, try to use as minimal movement as possible. It just feels like a slight rotation coming from just like this wrist joint right here. And obviously your forearm will move a little bit because it's connected to your wrist. And when you're picking, it feels like you're just brushing the top of the string. You don't want to dig in. Just barely grazing the top of the string. And relax, and you can see that nothing's moving back here. It's just right here. So that minimal movement means that the hand's not moving over the strings. So it's this compared to this. So you're going to be able to go much faster and much more reliable because when your hand's not moving that much, you're going to stay over the right string instead of moving so far away from it all the time. So you stay directly over it. And then you learn how to synchronize that, obviously, with other... Uh... Notes in the left hand, you have alternate picking. All right, so I hope this helps. Just, you know, think about uh, using smaller muscle groups to pick. And I think you'll get uh, not only a lot less tension in your hand, um, you'll also get a lot less movement and a lot less noise. All right, hope this helps. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.